folks. Uh, yeah, talking women of WWE or I guess more of Alexa Bliss uh, content. But yeah, my thoughts. You know, she returned recently and it wasn't anything special. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how to go about that. Because, again, like, not, it wasn't really, it wasn't much to run home about. I mean, oh, Sonya Deville, she got relieved of her backstage division management, whatever, uh, position. So, because she's abusing her power. So, then Alexa Bliss comes out, and in like two or what, uh, seven seconds or whatever, ten seconds possibly, she just beats her, does the DDT, and then twists the Bliss off the top rope, and then she pins her. One, two, three, she wins. And the crowd goes wild, and I'm like, what? Who cares? <laughs> I mean, she came back uh, briefly when uh, they did the Elimination Chamber, which was just random. She even competed in the tournament or whatever the other girls had to. But her, nope, she just randomly was slotted in there. And then loses to Bel Air, which, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what they're doing with her, because she beat Sonya Deville. When she first returned, and then this past week, she beat her. So, like, what are we doing? Are we going to keep, are they going to keep feuding, or what? I am not interested in that at all. interested in it at all anything why can't I mean she's far away from the title picture contenders picture which is fine she doesn't need to be focused they don't need to put her in no title uh, picture right now she just returned uh, she did fine when she you know faced the bill um, their second round go around and it was just okay um, her attire is a mix of it's not playground or fun what is it fun house no playground Alexa I guess they do away with that she still has Lily so we're still this sort of continuity with that at least but like her demeanor is kind of normal now or she's going back as like the goddess, I guess. Mostly. Which it's okay, it's fine. Um I don't know, is she supposed to be a, a face now, a baby face? Or is she a he I'd rather her be a heel. Or she's just in between, like you don't really know what she's all about. I'd rather they do that with her. Um I don't know why they don't, I don't know why they changed her theme song. The theme song was okay. The new one. I know a lot of people with themes. I was reading comments on Instagram. Oh, I don't like her uh, theme song. They need to change it back to spiteful. What is it? Spice, spiteful something. Or the evil is mine or whatever. I can do without this new one or the old one. Just give me, you know, good matches with her. That's all I care about. <laughs> I mean, she looks happy to be back, at least, like, um, which is cool, so, good for her, she's happy with, you know, what she's doing, that's all that really matters, with her, anyway, in terms, um, but yeah, and the other women, I guess I'll mention, uh, Naomi and Sasha Banks, apparently, there's this whole fiasco of them walking out of WWE and oh we're 
we're not being taken seriously as tag champions and we're uncomfortable with our opponents in the ring so we're walking out I don't know if that's true or not I mean a lot of people are already as assuming it is just because oh WWE removed all their merchandise off the of, uh, WWE shop online or whatever I'm like maybe they're just committed to the the uh, lie or the storyline or whatever they're trying to do I mean maybe it is or who knows but I mean I know the fact that Sasha wasn't happy with the whole what was it, a six woman challenge where the winner would face beyond uh, Belair and I guess Naomi was going to win uh, over Sasha but that doesn't make sense because we're tag champions so I guess WWE was going to break them up in a way and Sasha didn't like that so she was like screw y'all I'm uh, not with that and then Naomi I guess just walked out with her because she agrees with Banks um I don't know what they're doing now. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, you know, tomorrow night on Raw. Um, Liv tag uh, with Finn and AJ Styles. I don't care. Um, if you broke up with Rhea... Ripley and now Rhea is with Edge and what Damian Priest I believe is the guy's name and their team is called Judgment what was this Judgment Day? Terminator Judgment Day <laughs> they got the they got the, the uh, they got the the inspiration from that movie or from the, the title of the movie but how about we get John Cena to beat John Connor, <laughs> but, you know, I don't care about this feud that they're doing, um, and the fact that I love how, granted we can't, you know, oh, men aren't allowed to put their hands on the women in the ring, but yet women can slap dudes around in the, in the, in the ring, Literally just slap them across the face, and the men can't do nothing about it. I'm like, how about you at least shove them or make it look real lit? That's what a real guy would do if it was a real life. I'm not gonna just let some woman. Grant, you'll gotta punch them, but at least like shove them or push them back or something. Defend yourself at least. Self defense is fine, but nope, we can't have the men self defend themselves against women. Yet, there was a Royal Rumble where, what, Orton did RKO on Nia, but that's okay, but, or stupid Sasha with, uh, that one black guy, I forget his name, where he did, she faced him, like, multiple times, and that was just laughable, like, he barely put up a fight against her, like, all he did was flips, that's all he was good for, I forget his name. I think he's still uh, doing stuff with the woman, at least with Dana Brooke, which I'm like, why? He's not a woman. He's not part of the division. He shouldn't even be on women's uh, showcasing screen time. Well, whatever, I guess. Mandy Rose and Toxic Attraction are just doing whatever. Natalia... I don't care about um, Cora Jade is okay. Um, Ronda with Raquel Rodriguez, you know, their match on SmackDown was fine. wasn't anything special really. The ending I actually didn't mind. I knew she was gonna win, but I still, it was not as choreographed looking as most of these women matches nowadays look. Like you can tell, oh yeah, I gotta do this, or whatever. I know it's already, I know it's, you know, they rehearse stuff, but don't make it look so rehearsed. Like, <laughs> that's why I hate when, like, uh, the match with, I think it was Natalia and 
what Cora Jade or one of them where I she let literally lay there and let her put her in the sharpshooter. She had her one free leg, like her one leg was injured or whatever, but the other leg was like free of the kick, but she doesn't do it. So like she just lets her. Oh, they, I hate when they do this, and she's just doing the sharpshooter. It's like whatever. Um. I guess this bull crap is g giving me uh, sinuses infection or whatever. But yeah, I, don't, I. But yeah, tomorrow night, who knows what they're gonna do with Bliss? I swear, if we do another match with her and Sonya Deville, and I t I uh, posted on my community tab if anybody's interested. I did a. Uh, Alexa Bliss returns or whatever thoughts on that. I because I asked, I asked for people to comment on that. Somebody was like, I enjoyed their uh, her return or something. Like they basically said they didn't have any problems with it. They liked her uh, entrance and everything. I'm like, okay, to each your own, I guess. Uh, no problem there. I disagree. <laughs> Cause like it, it looks, it seems so rushed and just blasé about like it wasn't really anything exciting. It wasn't a, a real big surprise. I mean, it was a surprise, not to me, cause, cause like when you get down to it, like it, I mean, it's fine that she came back, but like the way she did, and then in the ring for like six or ten seconds, it was lame, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so, leave your comments down below, make sure to like and subscribe, um, I don't know what else to say, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, more content of reviews, of the stop motion, and other content on the way, so be on the lookout.